Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 7.18 from Sadiko book. So the question is for the circuit in figure 7.98, determine V0T when I0 is equal to 5 ampere and Vt is equal to 0. Okay, the circuit looks complicated, but we try to simplify it. The first thing that we notice is Vt is equal to 0. So this is equal to 0. So what does that mean? Remember that if a voltage short is equal to zero, that means that it is the same as short circuit. Okay. And that is good because that will be simplify the circuit a lot. Okay. So because this is short circuit, it will be connected directly to the ground. So we can redraw this circuit like this. So this 2 ohm resistor is directly connected to the ground, right, like this. So this is 2 ohm. And this 0 0.4 Henry inductor also connected to the ground. So we will have it like this. Have 0 0.4 Henry. And then that 3 ohm resistor is also connected directly to the ground right so we will have it like this so we will have 3 ohm resistor here okay so we simplify this into this but then we can also simplify this because this 2 ohm and 3 ohm resistor is in parallel so we can simplify the resistance. What is the resistance? It's 2 ohm parallel with 3 ohm. Or if we convert this into arithmetic notation, that means that we have 2 times 3 divided by 2 plus 3. 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 plus 3 is 5. So I will have 1.2 and the unit here is ohm. Okay? Good. So we can simplify this circuit like this. So we will have 1.2 ohm. 1.2 ohm. And then we also have it like this. We have 0 0.4 Henry. Okay, 0 0.4 Henry. And we are asked about V0T. What is V0? V0 is the voltage across this 3 ohm resistor. But because all of them are parallel, that will be the same. So I will have V0 is between this node here and the ground here. Okay, this is a simple RL circuit. Uh, I think we can solve this by using this one here. Let's name this IL. So the current in the loop. We can use KVL at IL. Okay. KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay. Now we have two components there. We have the resistance here, but we need voltage. So we multiply it by the current. So we will have 1.2 IL. And then plus, it is an inductor. Remember that the voltage in an inductor, V is equal to DL, DI, DT. Okay, what is DL? DL is 0 0.4 Henry. So I will have 0. 0.4 and then DIL over DT. All of that will equal to zero. Okay. Maybe let's move this 1.2 IL to the right hand side. So I'll have 0 0.4 DIL DT. And that will equal to 1.2 IL. But remember, we move this from left hand side to the right hand side. So the sign will be minus. Or we can divide 0 0.4 to the both sides. So I will have 
dil over dp is equal to 1.2 divided by 4 that will be minus 3 il okay we can use separation of variable so i will have dil over il and that will equal to 3 dt so that will be minus 3 dt and if we integrate both sides this will become natural log of il and then on the right hand side i will have minus 3t plus some constant okay or we can rewrite that il is equal to e to the minus 3t plus c or i will rewrite it e to the c but e to the c is a constant so i l t that will be a constant a constant multiplied by e to the minus 3t okay but we are given that i t is here remember that i t is flowing from the ground up so i will have this one here as i t but that will be flowing uh, to the opposite direction of i l so what can we infer is from here i l zero is equal to minus five ampere okay <coughs> okay now what can we get from here i will have i l zero is equal to minus 5 so a e to the minus 3 multiplied by 0 because we replace this t with 0 right that will equal to minus 5 okay that's good and that means that a multiplied by 1 that is just a is equal to minus 5 okay so we get i l t I L T is equal to minus 5 and then E to the minus 3 T. Okay, but we are asked about V0 here. V0, I think we can just use Ohm's law there, which is minus I L multiplied by 1. Point two, so I will get minus one point two multiplied by minus five e to the minus three t. Therefore, our final answer v zero one point two multiplied by five is just six. The negative sign will cancel each other, so I will have e to the minus three t. The unit here will be volt. And this is the final answer for this problem. So let's highlight that. And I think that's all for this problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.